what's going on everybody so lately i've been seeing a lot of comments saying that gabe doesn't know how to work on diesel trucks gabe has no business doing anything to his truck because he's very uneducated gabe should stop working on his truck and start taking it to the shop so nothing breaks and that just simply isn't true as you guys know i was a valvoline oil change technician for about two months before i was honorably discharged due to coolant being uh used as oil <clears throat> So it's safe to say I know what I'm doing. So today we got a little problem with the 6.7 and I'm gonna show you guys how to fix it. And if you guys are having the same problem, you can do exactly what I do. So lately I've been noticing a lack of airflow to the intercooler and that's very important because the way that diesel turbos work, the air goes through the grill. The air is then pushed into the intercooler, which is then internally cooled by the intercooler, sent up to the turbo and then the turbo makes boost, throws it into the motor, goes into the motor, does, does the fuel air mixture stuff, creating more power, and then is sent out through the exhaust in the form of coal. So it's safe to say that this is very important. So what my thought process is, if more air is going through the grill, I'll get better airflow, more power, more boost, cooler EGTs, and the truck will just run a whole lot better. So how am I going to accomplish this, you ask? Well, I found a few tools in the garage that are going to help us do this. This is a concrete wand attached to a drill. It's going to let us scrape off this grill, making, you know, more air. Because this is not good. This is blocking the air that goes to the intercooler. So. If this was less restricting, there'd be more boost. Truck is going to run better. Then we have a margin trowel, another concrete tool. Now I really like this because it has a very sharp edge and easy to hold lightweight. So it's gonna let us really get into this grill better than the wand will. The wand is going to start it off, take off the top layer, and then this is going to gonna really get in there and help us make these holes so then more airflow as I said before and then last but not least we have a hammer I just like hammers and everything can be improved with a hammer now at the Gabe Fell Productions headquarters safety is our number one concern so definitely invest in some safety glasses so you don't go blind because of all the fire happening when we're building diesel trucks here. Starting off, we're gonna take our drill with our concrete wand mixer. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna. Now it's, it's important to make it even all the way across because if one side has more air than the other side, it's not gonna run good. So you're just gonna wanna take it. like that go all the way across very even now now it's okay if you like hit the, the bottom of the bumper or your emblem or it, it doesn't really matter it's as long as the air is going to the intercooler it's gonna work that's pretty good so next we're gonna take our margin trawl right here and now you're going to want to take it at a 90 to 75 degree angle and you're just gonna want to skate scrape right right across and use the side and use the front and hit it if you want just scrape it scrape it all make sure a lot of air is getting to that inner cooler yeah there we go you can even get a little fancy you could do some like arts and crafts with it you can write write your name write your favorite color you know draw a shark draw some trees just imagine your bob ross and this is your canvas and this is your paintbrush yeah just go right across it just smack a few times oh yeah perfect 
looking good already way better i can i can smell the airflow and then last but not least you're going to take your screwdriver or chisel whichever works for you and then your hammer or mallet you're going to take it put it at an angle you're just going to make some make some major holes in the grill don't gotta be too fancy with it as long as there's a hole it'll work all right now that looks pretty good to me now we're definitely going to clean up our mess here because this is a show truck it needs to needs to stay nice now that is a successful install i would say definitely going to improve the airflow make more boost make more power At 100 pounds of boost, it was just too much for the intercooler boot to handle. It got, got loosened and taken off somehow, man. Crazy. Obviously, I'm not keeping the truck like that. I do have new inserts. These are chrome. We're going to try out these. I think these are going to look a whole lot better than scratched up copper and tan. Two thousand years later. Jeez. Oh, oh my. This grill is just not having a good day. Oh, ooh, ooh. So all these pieces will be for sale on the website that I don't have. Uh, I won't be asking a lot for them, probably like five, $5,000 for all that. Let me dry the boot. Thanks for watching. <laughs>